like, um, I know I talked about this before, but I felt like I've seen that in my mind a thousand times, uh, manifested that and envisioned that. Um, it really just felt like like a movie playing out. Um, and by the way, I love how you changed your name to Johnny, so I, I can relate on there that. There you go. I, I love it. I noticed that on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been Johnny for years and just the byline thing, so yeah. I figured why not. I feel you. Um, in terms of the defense as a whole, for you guys to come away with two takeaways so early in the game, I mean, how important was that to set a tone in the way defensively? Huge. Um, I know a lot of us at the end of the game were talking about the game in general, and Georgia Tech's a really good team, and we thought that the difference today was just how we started fast. Um, you know, in, in prior games, we you know had to take a few minutes to get going, a few drives to get going, and then the groove, uh, not so much last week, but previous games before that. Um, but that really jump-started us, and the offense and defense, we feel like, you know, the momentum, you know, goes from one to the other, and we really help each other get in the groove. And today, we're just playing on all cylinders. So I think, you know, if we can do that every week, that'd be great. Uh, when you see the offense go out there, you know, put up a 50 burger, how does the defense kind of feed off that? What kind of energy does that bring? Huge. Um, you know, because in the past, sometimes it can get frustrating a little bit. Um, you know, when you get a big stop, and then you need somebody to score, and, you know, offense gets three and out. So, I mean, sometimes that happens, and then other times offense is carrying the weight and we can't get a stop. Um, so, you know, when, when we do our job and they do their job, you know, we, we feel really powerful and we feel like we're a really good team. Um, so, you know, when we're fire, firing on all cylinders like that, you know, we'll be hard to beat. How do you uh, continue this momentum now that you have a bye week? That's a really good question. Uh, you know, this is more of an early bye week than usual, I feel like. Um, but I think it's good timing. Um, I think a few guys got a little banged up today, so I think it'll be good for us rest-wise. Um, we're a veteran team, so I think we'll handle it very maturely, you know, do the right things, get our bodies back, and really not, hopefully not take a step back in terms of, in terms of mental preparation, um, you know, we can get a jump start on our next opponent. One or two more? Um, do you guys think you were the more physical team today? Um, that's a good question. I know um, Coach Narduzzi, you know, we pride ourselves on that. And uh, before the game, we talked about the date. Georgia Tech prides themselves on that as well. Um, you know, I think the momentum helped us out a lot today. Um, they're a physical team, and, and we are as well. Uh, I felt like it was, you know, a good matchup. Um, it, it's hard to say either way, but um, I tip my hat to uh, Georgia Tech because they're, you know, a well-fought team, and uh, they, they, they do their job too. Uh, Coach Hunter, just talked about the red zone piece in here. Uh, you guys had two goal to go stops and three fourth and one stops. How crucial is that in those short yardage situations? Huge. We count those in, as turnovers in our room. Uh, so we, we try to get three a game. So, you know, we got those two interceptions and then what did you say, three fourth down stops? Three fourth and ones. Yeah, and then we got the blocked field goal too. So, that, you know, we're, we're tallying those up and, you know, we, we try to get as many as possible. So those are huge momentum swings. And I know um, at the end of the first half, I think it was, they had that long pass play and got down to the goal line and had that fourth and goal stop. So that was huge for us heading into halftime. Thank you, John. Thanks, Thanks John. guys. Appreciate